Hello everyone. I've been feeling very private lately. And I also feel the need to interact with uh, computer machines. So I thought I would make a Let's Play video. I don't know. That's just what I'm calling it. I don't know if Let's Play is some kind of copyright or like... I don't know. I've been having a lot of uh, curiosity about what my rights and privileges are lately. But I thought I'd just play some Final Fantasy. And I'm going to be sitting on the chair over there. So I hope you can hear me. So I've already made one of these Final Fantasy videos. And uh, went over kind of well, I think. I don't know. I don't know how to judge if I make a, bit, a video that's good or not, unless someone tells me it's good or bad, and uh, people tell me both. Sometimes I feel like I make a good video, and people tell me it's bad, and sometimes I feel I make a bad video. And people tell me it is good. So, oh, here we go. I forgot to press that button. So, I'm going to load my game. When I played Final Fantasy XIII version 1, it seemed you had a maximum of 100 saves. I thought maybe it would be unlimited uh, since uh, PlayStation 3 works with a hard drive, and I'm pretty sure my hard drive could hold a lot of saves. Uh, I don't remember how many megabytes or kilobytes each save was, but that was just a restriction that they put on it. And I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm fine with uh, how much you're allowed to save. So lately I've just been leveling up, uh, gaining experience and money and going through some quick battles. Uh, at this point, uh, the world I'm entering, I'm pretty powerful and can kill everything pretty easily. Um, sometimes I feel like doing this is like a form of meditation, and I know that can be seen as offensive, but I'm just sorry. Um, I have a limited range of words that I can use because I'm uneducated. All I have is my high school diploma and I'm 30 years old. And uh, I sometimes read some books, but I probably do not read enough. Uh, a, lot, a, a lot of books that I read um, they either upset me or confuse me or they use language that I don't know how to interpret. So I like books and I want to get more books but 
might be in the right book to read. For me, it's really hard. <coughs> My parents are big readers, and uh, my partner is also a big reader, and um, I envy them. And then you start to think, well, what is reading? You could, what interpretation of reading is um, self-gratification? To use a polite word, and uh, one of the purposes of reading is, uh, well, there's learning, of course, and then there is the read. There's a plant like milk, milkweed, I think. I don't know. And of course, you can read people. You can look at them and um, try to figure out what they're thinking. And I was getting either really good or really bad at reading people. Um, I kind of saw on their face how they were looking at me. And made me upset, which leads me to the subject of what I've been referring to as notoriety. Uh, I know uh, one of the worst things someone who is known by a great number of people can do is call themselves famous, that people just instantly turn on you and try to destroy you. Uh, but in the last month, I felt um, like a lot of things were directed towards me. People who passed me on the street Maybe they wouldn't say something, but the way they looked at me, I knew they had negative feelings about me. And uh, watching TV, um, if, if, you're, if you're new to who I am, I'll tell you I have a mental illness. And it can be classified in many ways. And one of the ways it can be classified is schizophrenia. And uh, one of the symptoms of schizophrenia is you believe the TV is talking directly to you. So I've had those paranoid thoughts recently and they're going away. I'm on a new medication. Um, and, uh, I've had hallucinations, kind of like waking visions, um, and that definitely freaks me out. Um, because in the hospital, they say when you're schizophrenic, that means your brain isn't working right and what you think you think is not real. So I had years of people saying what you think you think isn't real. and. Um, They were, the people in the hospital were also accusing me of things that I knew did not apply to me, but they kept accusing me of it. And, and then one of their accusations about how my brain works 
it came true, and I was brought to a psychiatrist, who I assume is a veteran in the field, and who I assume um, has sympathy for um, people with disease, brain diseases such as mine. So I asked the psychiatrist, um, you know, I'm hearing voices in my head and um, I know you're going to say they're not real because you're a psychiatrist, but can you tell me, are they real? And she gave me a kind of medium answer. She said, I don't, rem <coughs> I don't remember what word she said, but she said, um, well, in some ways they can be real. And uh, now I'm thinking of Joan of Arc. Um, I don't know, I, I, I hear my parents talk to each other and I'm uh, the way my parents talk to each other it's like they're talking to me but they're talking to each other but I get the urge to join the conversation and then they kind of shush me um, so maybe I should just let my parents talk and be quiet um, so I picked up a book uh, from my family's collection of books um, before I turned on this video game and it was a biography of Steve Jobs and um, when I first read it when it came out he seems like a really bad person but I took this biography because I remembered on the Daily Show with Jon Stewart uh, the author of the book said the author or the reviewer or I don't know uh, he said that you should read it two years from now and then you'll understand so I read some of it and uh, it gave me some peace I just read like five or six paragraphs and um, then uh, the next chapter was the Mac is born and Mac obviously stands for Macintosh Apple, like the iMac or the iPod or whatever. Um, but Mac is born. Uh, when I read that, I think, um, you know, the, the way people say, uh, Mac Daddy or Macking on someone. And I'm in a committed relationship. And I don't even want to think about other women. Like, I, I'd like to think of myself as someone who's nice to women. But at this point in my life, I don't really feel like 
I can talk to a woman unless it's for professional reasons such as dealing with my health or purchasing a product because I feel if I talk to women I may be tempted and you know all that biblical stuff about lust in your heart is a sin and um, I'm trying to I'm trying to read the Bible and um, it's a very complex book and and my motivations for wanting to read the Bible is so I can get closer to um, my partner's uh, family because I am told their family um, Bible is very important to them and I am so ignorant of that stuff. I mean, I feel more or less I know what's right or wrong. I have an okay understanding of that. But in terms of like actual biblical preaching and biblical law, I don't feel like I know about that. And then that brings me to another problem, which is I don't know the religious or spiritual uh, messages or traditions um, of cultures where the Bible do not take priority. I'm pretty sure I was raised an atheist. My parents never told me that. Um, we celebrate Christian holidays. Um, and at this particular moment in time, I'm feeling like I'm a Protestant. Uh, and when I say that, I mean, uh, I believe redemption and atonement can be self-administered and knowing the message of the Bible does not require a um, a middleman um, but my Bible went missing and I'm left with a pamphlet of the Quran and I have a book of Mormon and the Book of Mormon, uh, the guy who gave it to me, he seemed like an okay guy, but like when I open it up to read the actual book, um, I'll compare it to like when I was in grade one. Um, I think we were taking a tour of the school and they showed us grade three and the grade threes were doing math and I thought to myself, I will never understand what they're doing in that class. What they're, 
I mean, what they were doing was basically like five plus three equals eight. Meanwhile, all I was doing in my class was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I, I, I looked at the grade three class and I was like, these guys are so smart. They know so much more than me. Um, And then finally I made it to grade three and I was actually really good. What happened was um, they used uh, cards, but I don't know the name of them. Like It's like a deck of cards, but with numbers that you had up and they would drill us on the numbers and then I noticed a pattern. I noticed that they were not shuffling the deck and um, they were asking for us to call out answers and they had repeated the pattern so many times that I would just, I started ding, 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 ding. I know the answer, I know the answer, I know the answer. Um, so, yeah, so I was thinking to myself, I wanted to say to someone, and I don't know who I want to say this to, that I never wanted to be famous. When I put it in my head that I wanted a career path of comedy, I did not want to be a big star. I just wanted to make money enough to support myself now that I'm older, I wish to support myself and people I love. Um, and I can kind of do it. I'm on this program called um, ODSP, which if you're going to be mean and condescending, you can call it welfare. And um, it's because I'm disabled, because mentally I'm disabled. And then if you're nice, you can say you're not disabled, there's nothing wrong with you. And that's a very nice thing to say. Uh, but the fact is I do have breaks from reality. Um, I am capable of harm, not at the moment, but I mean like, I think any male really is capable of harm, and I don't want to be capable of harm. Uh, but I also do not wish to um, give up my gender preference or my sexual preference. Um, what I'm kind of trying to do right now is be abstinent. Um, and going pretty good so far, but I, things I've seen on TV and things I've read, um, I'm not sure if being abstinent is something you can do permanently. And that brings me back to the Bible, and it makes me think, um, 
you are a priest or a religious leader, you have to be abstinent. And um, of course, there's huge backlash against that. Accusations that priests um, do extremely harmful things. because they are obstinate and uh, I don't really know I, I haven't read about it that much but yeah I don't know and I, I, I want I want to be monogamous and like I said earlier, I'm on welfare and I don't feel I have the income to support a child. because the amount of um, suffering that um, people of all ages have to go through. I don't want to have to care for a human that would experience the same amount of suffering as me. And I'm very grateful to my parents for all they have done for me. So, um, going to end it there. Sorry if you can't read these pictures, um, but I felt they related to what I was talking about. When, when you bees, you get these uh, floating worms in your eyes. They float, and you can watch them spin, spin in the air. Reason is amazing.